G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Welcome to today's edition. Now, so much of our collaboration takes place in the context of meetings. Now, how many times have you found yourself needing to scroll through emails just to get to documents that have been emailed or shared with you to prepare for an upcoming meeting or even post meeting when you need to go back to and have a look and find things that have been shared or documents that have been shared throughout a meeting. Or maybe it's the new uh, meeting notes components that were being worked on or collaborated on during the context of a meeting as well. Well, there's a new view rolling out to Microsoft 365 and in the home experience that allows us to really focus in on the context of meetings and what was shared throughout meetings uh, past and also meetings that are upcoming. And that's the, that's the focus of today's edition. So let's dive in and have a look at this feature in action. So we can see here that I'm in and logged in as Megan and I'm in the Microsoft 365 My Content section. All right, so left-hand side, My Content. Now you can see here that we can browse by meetings. Now this is specifically scoped to in the context of meetings. And you can see here that there was a meeting that was held three hours ago and here is the content that was shared in that meeting. There was a PowerPoint presentation shared and there was also some meeting notes taken uh, in in the loop com the the loop component uh, of that particular meeting so let's go forward and uh, create a new meeting um, in the context here and we'll plan this for the future and then we'll invite some people in we'll share some documents and then we'll see what this looks like in uh, this experience here so we'll jump into the calendar of me and uh, we'll start a new meeting for let's say for later in this week so we'll pop in um, a particular day let's go for um, Microsoft Loop Planning, all right? So we'll do this and then we'll invite Alex, all right? So we'll just invite one person. Now, what we might wanna do is we might wanna include some pre-meeting uh, reading or that type of thing. So typically what we do is we would attach or include a document. So let's find a document that we need to review prior to the meeting. So let's go for this document here. We'll share this document. We'll insert it into the body or the description of this meeting. That's gonna set all the permissions automatically. So Alex, if you didn't have access, we'll automatically have access now and we'll send that across. All right, so that's sending an invite to Alex. Let's bring Alex's um, email across here and we'll wait for that meeting invite to come in. You can see here, we've got this Microsoft Loop planning just come in, we've got the document here and let's accept that invite. Now that's well and good, but let's say Alex puts off the preparation for this meeting for another time. So rather than having to scroll through calendars and emails to find that document that was shared in that meeting invite again, what he can now do is go into the Microsoft 365 homepage, go to uh, my content, and then there's this section here called meetings, all right? So let me just refresh this uh, view here. You can see that he's already got a couple of meetings in there that, uh, that have been scheduled. Here's the meeting that was just scheduled around the Microsoft Loop planning from Megan. And you can see that we've got access to that document that was included in the body of the email. Now you can also see up here that we can filter by keyword. So as we uh, obviously attend more and more meetings, more and more things are shared, then that means this is going to become quite busy. So we could then filter by keyword as well. All right, so we could say, see here um, that I've just typed in the keyword of loop and it brings back all of the meetings or the content with that particular keyword in it as well. Now, what about during a meeting? What happens when we're, we've got a chat during a meeting and then people are sharing documents throughout the course of a meeting? Let's have a look at what that experience is like as well. All right, so now we're in a meeting. Megan and Alex are um, joined the meeting here and let's go to our chat. Uh, and then let's now share a document or where uh, we need to uh, we need to collaborate on a, on a document throughout this meeting, all right? So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna attach a cloud file, all right? So we'll browse for the file that we want to attach. Here is the ad goals for the QT series. That's the one we need to discuss. So what we're gonna do here is we're just going to, um, to share that in the chat, all right? So that's coming through 
in the chat here, that's now been sent and shared. You can see that Megan's done that. And on the right-hand side, um, sorry, Alex has done that. On the right-hand side here, Megan has now got access to that. We could also start taking some notes, all right? So let's go forward now and get our meeting notes all set up and ready to go. So here is our uh, meeting notes that are powered by Microsoft Loop, and we can add some follow-up tasks. We've got our agenda and we've got our meeting notes. Um, let's go for set targets for uh, August and September and we're good to go, all right? So now we've got our meeting notes that are uh, that have been just created and we're collaborating throughout the course of this meeting. Now, this meeting now ends, all right? So I'm gonna end this meeting right now, all right? So let's now end this meeting. We'll just close this off and we'll end the meeting, all right? So let's end that. Now what happens? We need to still access all of that content. So maybe in a week's time, there we need to come back to uh, and look for documents that were, um, you know, that were shared throughout that meeting. So with this new view, it means that we don't have to scroll back and try and find that meeting through our calendar or that email or things like that. We can just jump into the Microsoft 365 homepage, click on my content, click on browse by meetings, and there what we'll see is is the content, and I'll just give this a refresh, um, we'll see the content that was shared throughout the course of that meeting. So the pre, um, anything that was, was shared pre-meeting in the description, plus also anything that was shared throughout the meeting, you will find uh, here in this new view. All right, so this is gonna bring uh, a ton of value to people. It's gonna save so much time for everybody. The new browse by meetings view or meetings hub, or let's say it's a, a content hub for meetings um, is coming to your tenant. So watch out for that. Browse by meetings. Thanks for watching. Hope that brings you some value.